I'm Dennis. Today I'm going to be installing a 48-inch uh, plastic shower surround wall set. It's a three-piece set. It's made by Aquaglass. The base is in, so the next step is to uh, get the wall set installed. Here are the various pieces of the wall set. That's the back and uh, both sides. So they'll go in individually. The back goes in first. One of the things base in, I put a moving quill down there so I don't scratch it up with my boots and um, <clears throat> the first uh, order of business is to put a backer board in that comes with the uh, wall set and it goes on uh, marks on the back wall so I'm going to install that now with some uh, inch and a quarter drywall screws alright so this little piece of wafer board comes with the uh, with the wall set I've already made my marks on the wall 30 and a half inches above the uh, the base flange as the instructions call and I've leveled up my marks so I don't really have to uh, level my board here just get it roughly center it's just a little extra piece of backer um, to keep the uh, back of the wall set from flexing Line it up on my marks. <clears throat> Got a couple inch and a quarter drywall screws. Put them right into the studs, and we're good to go. <clears throat> Next step is going to be to set the uh, set the wall back in first. Kind of dry fit it. Mark the locations for the holes to for the screws that are going to go through the flanges and into the studs. Um, for some people, this might be a two-person job, so just judge that for yourself. Um, this is kind of a small little bathroom, so you might not be able to see the whole thing. I'll just do the best I can with it. <clears throat> Um, next step <clears throat> will be to uh, mark these the stud locations on the flanges and then drill a hole through the flanges so that the screws can pass through without breaking the uh, plastic. What's real important here is to make sure that you use pan head or round head screws, not drywall screws. Drywall screws have a fluted head and if you use a fluted head through this plastic it will break. Um, so it's got to be a round head or a flat or a pan head. Now when I did my framing, my drywall framing, I made sure that all my studs were plumb and square uh, because it makes for better insulation when the opening is for the shower is completely square. Um, but just to verify, I'm going to make sure that this back pressed up against the back wall, that the back of this wall set is also still plumb. Now I'll uh, mark the stud locations on the flanges and drill the holes. Alright, it's so important to note here that all I'm doing at this point is drilling the holes because we have to dry fit the uh, panels, make sure everything is going to fit, get all the holes located for the screws before we can actually put it in and fasten it all down. So next I'm going to put in the right hand side um, wall. All right, so sides and the back have been dry fitted. Now it's time to uh, put them in. Um, all the holes are drilled on the top and uh, on the tops or the flanges rather. And um, so I've run a bead of sealant right down here along this uh, this bottom edge of the pan, and um, then I've got to put a uh, a bead of adhesive right here on this um, this strip along the back it's a backer strip and then 
brace that up, brace it, and I'll put the back in and then brace that up so that it can, uh, the adhesive can set, um, and then we'll be ready to put in the sides. So I'm going to run a bead of, of adhesive. Um, I'm just using, um, I'm just using Power Grab, which is uh, a tub surround adhesive. Um, any kind of general purpose um, tub shower adhesive will work fine. <clears throat> So now I got the back in and uh, got to put the screws in around the flange. I'm going to make sure you're using either pan head or round head screws, no drywall screws. Drywall screws are, are fluted and they will um, break this plastic if you put use it in or use them on this uh, to hold this plastic in. And it's also good to use an extension bit on your uh, driver so you don't so your chuck doesn't scratch up the plastic. Be careful not to over tighten because you'll also break the plastic if you over tighten these. When I dry fitted it, I marked the height and the, the lines on my, my back so I know where it's supposed to be to be flush and square so I don't have to recheck that as long as I'm on my lines. Alright, all the screws are driven, so now that panel is in place. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to brace up a board uh, to go to basically press up against that backer board that's right here. Um, I've got one cut because I can reach a wall just to, on this side. If you can't reach a wall, then what you can do is uh, you can run a board from one side of your framing to the other on your opening and then just put a board in here to press up against it but that'll help that adhesive to set. Um, also important to note when you're screwing your flanges in up here <clears throat> if the gap with it set in place is any wider than an eighth inch between the stud and the flange then you need to put a wood shim in there and then screw through that. Make sure you go through the shim into the stud that way it'll hold that shim in place and you can just cut it off later um, but that'll keep you from cracking the plastic on your your shower surround so now I'm going to fit the bracer board just to let that adhesive sit I'm also going to put a little towel between the end of my bracing board and the tub the shower surround so that I don't scratch that surface up because it's a nice glossy plastic surface so there you can see what I've done is I've just got a board braced up against the uh, the back of the shower with a towel stuck in there so it doesn't scratch it up. And then you can see looking on the back side, that's my backer board. And you can see where I've got a nice uh, bead of adhesive squeezed out so I've got good pressure. Um, all across here good contact rather and uh, that way when this adhesive sets the back will stay put and then next what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bead of sealant along the flange of the back panel and the, and the base for the next for the uh, side to go in
again you want these to be pretty liberal because this the flanges on these panels is going to set in the sealant um, then you're going to seal it again on the front side but once everything's finished you won't be able to get to this back side so you want it to be a pretty good pretty good bead and you want it to be a pretty liberal bead so that um, you get uh, good water proofing back there the next thing we've got to do is uh, put the um, adhesive for the wall panels it's a little different you put the adhesive on the uh, studs and then we'll brace up between the two walls to press the uh, side panels up against the studs here until that adhesive is set all right so I've got the both sides put in and uh, I went and cut me a couple of little scrap two by fours uh, it's a 48 inch shower stall so my inside measurement between my framing is 48 so the wall panels are about an eighth inch thick so I cut my braces to 47 and 5 eighths that gives me enough room to put a uh, to put a shop rag on each end to keep from scratching up the plastic and then kind of wedge it in there you don't want to be too tight because you don't want to crack the plastic but you want to make sure you press the sides up against the studs with the adhesive so that um, the adhesive can set in full contact with between the stud and the shower stall side so I'm gonna put the last one in and then it'll be ready to just let it set up overnight if you find that it's a little loose because of either variations in the framing or you just cut it short or whatever then just take a just take a wood shim stick it under the end of that and uh, then it'll wedge in pretty tight mine's a touch the top one was fine but this one's a little loose so I'm gonna slip this wedge in between my my shop rag and my um, and my stud so that I can make it a little tighter as long as that shop rag keeps the wood off the plastic you'll be fine Again, it doesn't have to be super tight, but uh, you want it to be real snug. So, so I've got the back braced up. I've got the sides braced up in two places, and I've made sure from the back side that I've got good contact. I, now I'm fortunate; I've got access to the back right now because it's a new installation. So I've made sure I've got good contact all the way around. I've got the screws in all the way around the top and the front flanges. Um, it's sealed up from the back so rather than try to work around all these braces i'm going to let my glue set and then i'll come back and i'll seal up all the joints between the base uh these joints like right in here and uh between the wall and the back those have to be sealed also but we'll, i'll do that later after the uh, glue is set and after that then it's uh then the installation is complete and the only thing i've got to do is install the uh, start and saw on the plumb and that's Thanks for watching again. I'm Dennis. I appreciate you uh, taking your time to watch one of my videos. I'd like for you to uh, look at my channel, see what other videos I've got and watch them. And um, I'd like for you to subscribe if you would. Hope to see you soon. Thanks.